<laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys this one setup that beats every single coverage in Madden 23. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, I am inside the Titans offensive playbook. Again, I'm inside the Titans offensive playbook. And you guys can see we are doing current in this video. Now, uh, if Madden ends up coming out with, uh, for Madden 24, if that's what it's called, if they come out with uh, current and next gen on Madden 24, what I actually plan on doing is combining like next gen setups and current gen setups all in one video. So that way, those of you guys, it doesn't matter whether you're next gen or current gen, you guys will actually be able to enjoy it either way. So uh, I'm not going to start that just yet, but I'm a, I plan on starting that once Madden, uh, the new Madden officially rolls out because it just doesn't make sense to do it this uh, this late in the year but what I will do is if you are on next gen okay I am gonna start rolling out um, mini schemes and uh, nice setups for next gen formation so if you are interested in that make sure you do uh, hit the sub button and of course current gen make sure you guys still stay locked in because we're still coming strong on current gen but uh, with all that out the way if you if you want any ebooks please make sure you check out my website allthingsmadden.com the link is in the description I have about 15 different formations and as soon as you buy it, it's uploaded automatically into your account and it's in written form a video written form so it's easy to follow so if you guys are interested in that make sure you go ahead and check it out and if you want me to make you any custom formation it's like custom ebooks then make sure you go to my personal ebook section and fill out a little form you'll see it on there um it's in the all things madden tab but with all that out the way man let's go ahead and get into this video so uh we are in the empty bunch wide and i really like this formation honestly and i'll kind of show you why here in a second but uh, if we take a look at it, they have some nice plays. So they have the draw, which is a uh, really good, and they have the jailbreak screen, which is actually really good. Uh, now you need to be able to run this uh, jailbreak screen. To, well, excuse me, you need to be able to run a quarterback draw the right way because it's easy to mess up. And um, drag curls is a really great play. Z spot and go, of course. Z spot smash is good. Like all these setups, like all these plays, you can come up with some fire setups for. So the only play that I'm focusing on in today's video is drive wheel but what i'm gonna do here i put quarterback draw and jails break screen in there because i want to show you guys um why i like those so what we're gonna do is go to drive wheel and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about dollar first and you guys know i love putting in my garbage defensive line then putting in your athletic secondary which is why i always use the pack because i just personally feel like they have the best secondary slash safeties in the game just personal preference that's all but uh we're gonna take a look at cover uh four drop we're gonna take a look at cover two cover three man coverage and i want to show you some match coverage as well and show you how it looks versus match so what we're gonna do here is come out and cover three now first and foremost uh most people when you're playing against dollar they're gonna pinch their defense most of the time so uh i'm gonna try to remember to do that throughout the video but first and foremost i want you to look at this quarterback draw so if you don't know um anytime you have a quarterback draw then if you hit the l1 uh if you hit the l1 as soon as you snap the ball, he's gonna auto run. So let me show you what happens if you don't hit it. Again, this is what happens if you don't. So notice how it takes a little bit of time and then we're not able to just run immediately. Um, but if we are able to, um, if we actually hit the L1 button, we're gonna be able to run immediately. So look at how fast we were able to take off. Now, obviously, if you're gonna do that, you'd want somebody who's a little bit better with ball carrying, so pretty much an athletic quarterback, like your Josh Allens and your Lamars and all that. So just be careful when you're using that. Now, next thing I wanna look at is um, actually this jailbreak screen. So surprisingly, I really like this jailbreak screen. Now, the reason why is because most of the time, jailbreak screens are for the receivers, but in the empty set, it's actually gonna go to your running back. So if you have a great athletic running back in there, that really helps. Now, sometimes what I do like to do as well is uh, I like to take this guy right here and motion him. Now, most of the time, it's gonna cause your opponents to base in line. Now, the reason why that's important is because a lot of times when your opponent base aligns, we're actually gonna have an advantage because we're gonna have three receivers on this side. Now, he won't actually block until uh, until your running back catches the ball. So, you know, but I like it because he goes across the middle of the field right here. And sometimes, so just for example, let's just say your opponent's sending you like a little zone blitz or something. Um, so let's just do something. Um, 
you know, let's do something like this or something. I don't know. And let's just say your opponent was using right here, right? So let me show you why I like this. So sometimes what happened here is like they'll come here to like, oh, I got that. And then sometimes you can dump it off the circle if you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. If not, I'll hop and re replay really quick. And don't worry, we're going to get into the passing concepts here in a second. I just need you to understand why I like this. So a lot of times if the, run, if, the, if the user tries to play aggressive when you do this jailbreak, I like the motion over this guy because as you can tell, a lot of times you'll be able to throw this ball you won't get a penalty and you'll be able to just to throw it right quick in the middle so a lot of times they'll do this and you'll be able to throw the ball if that makes sense so that's why i like it because um you're able to make a lot of good reads that way so let's go to uh keep this video moving along though but um i'm gonna show you versus zone and i'm gonna show you versus man cover so versus zone um it's okay uh it still works and that's your running back so you're gonna get some extra bs yards your fight forwards you know all that so you want to put your best running back there obviously but when we talk about man coverage, I actually, it's one of the few screens in the game that actually works pretty well versus man coverage. It's one of the few, because not a lot of them do. So uh, what makes this good is that the offensive linemen actually block. That's what makes it good. So notice how what's going to happen here is that we're just going to be able to just get a lot of yards. So if you're playing those opponents who sit in man coverage, they stay in man coverage, they don't want to leave, this play right here will give them a lot of fuss if you, if you catch them. Like basically the best way to do it is if they're adjusting their man coverage and just hurry up and quick snap it You're gonna get like this will happen a lot of times where they accidentally get clicked on a defensive line They'll try to turn and run but by that point the blocks are gonna be set up pretty nice And like I said, this is just a basically a run play. This is literally, you know Let me go back to it. Just jailbreak screen is literally a run play. So use it as that now for the passing concepts Okay, now you always want to make sure you're, you have your three receivers right here to the wide side of the field Okay, make sure they're always to the wide side now this setup is simple and it works versus everything other than man coverage or match Okay, so any zone coverage, but it you can set it up to uh, there is a setup I'm gonna give you for man coverage if you just want something and there is a setup for match coverage Well, it's gonna be about the same thing honestly, so Anyways, let's go ahead and dig into it. So you'll take R1, you want to put them on a streak. Now you want to take square right here. You can either put them on a zig or a flat route. Personally, I love to put them on a flat route. Now next, you want to take triangle, put them on a curl. And lastly, uh, you want to motion out your receiver and put him on a smoke screen. So that's R2. This is what the play is going to look like now versus every single zone coverage you're gonna find a dot wide open. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So notice how R1 could have go off the rip, triangle and circle. So it's a three way read. And if you guys know my channel, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you guys know that I love my three way read. So why this works is because this flat route is gonna get rid of the outside zones, your hard flats, your cloud flats, any of that. And since these hook zones, um, they normally respect verticals first. So since the tight end is pushing vertical, that is why our hook zone is pushing backwards. And what happens here is that the cornerback, this is not his responsibility. He's responsible for a third. And since his streak is still going, that's why this corner is going to keep drifting backwards because he has to respect this third. That's just how they're programmed. And what we're going to have happen is just a nice little dot that's going to go right here or we're going to go right here. So if your opponent is not zone dropping again, if they're not zone dropping, no matter what they call other than a hard flat, if they call purples, if they call clouds, uh, whether that's cover three, cover two, cover four drop, doesn't matter. If this guy is not zone dropping, he's not in a hard flat, he's going to turn and man match this. So what this means is that there's going to be absolutely nobody here versus zone coverage. So you can kind of tell the drip drip. I can't talk. You can kind of tell the um, what we're doing here. Now, this wheel route is really cool because it's going to pull the hook zones out. So notice how the hook zone goes out. So what that means is that we actually have a chance to hit this uh, quick streak right here to get a nice little possession catch. Aim it about right here. Get you a nice possession catch or you can hit this or you can wait and hit this route right here. So as you can tell, we're just and this is just one play. You know, this is literally just one play inside of this scheme. OK. And again, I'm going to show you something real quick uh, with hitting R1 because you might not be able to think you can hit it. And you can motion snap it if you want to. So what I was telling you, you could just boom and you could just take that all day. You could take that all day. And then when the user commits to that, you could just start looking at this side. So, you know, it's just it's, it's crazy. So what we're going to do here is go to cover four drop next, cover four drop next. And um, we're going to take R1, put him on a streak, square on a flat route, triangle on a curl. We're going to motion this guy out, put him on a um, smoke screen. And again, it's the same. Look at R1 quick, look at triangle, and look at circle. So again, it's, you can tell it's just the same amount of reads. Maybe we can make somebody dumb out. And we can literally gain like 10, 12 yards off of this if they are not careful. So I'm not going to go over cover four drop. It's the same as cover three. Now, cover two, uh, there's some dots that open up because of cover two. 
if I have enough time because this is um this is a uh, you know current gen where sheds are crazy but um basically this is gonna be the same thing now the reason I like this setup because this will destroy cover two. This will absolutely destroy cover two. Um, I'm gonna try to hold the ball off for a little bit and then just kind of show you what I meant and we'll throw it out of bounds. And I wanted those routes to develop and then we'll kind of take a look at, you know, reads and stuff like that inside of the replay. So uh, versus cover two, it may be better to put him on a hitch uh, because the vertical hooks will sit directly on this. We'll test this out here in a second, but cover two vertical hooks might be better for a hitch route. We'll see. But uh, anyways, on this side of the field, you always want to read this side on cover two always because no matter what style of cover two they're playing, you're going to have an easy dot open. It's still going to be the same three-way read. You're going to read here first. You can also throw this route right here. I'm going to show you in a second. You can actually split the safeties. You just have to pass lead at a certain time and make sure you possession it because it's not going to be a one-play touchdown unless you just, you know, sometimes you get lucky. But most of the time, you want a possession catch it, get you about 30, 35-yard gain. But this right here is what you're looking to do. You're looking to push this ball outside to where he can't click on and make that play. I know it looks close. I know you're probably thinking real that he'll probably pick it off, but I promise you he will not. So we'll go back to cover two and we'll kind of, you know, um, take our time here with cover two. Now I'm spying that guy out there because what we're going to do essentially, we're going to put a hitch to it. I want to see if that, uh, if that helps out we're gonna motion this guy out now the reason i put the end on the spot because really you'd want to double team him because you want to drift that way in the pocket so again uh we'll take a look nope hitch didn't get open but what you're going to be able to do is push that ball outside and you're going to be able to make a nice possession catch on the sideline now next thing i'll show you too is that streak uh so let's go back to cover two and again um these are just read options you know these are reads that you can make now unfortunately the uh the hitch does not get open like we want so you can just keep a curl um, you know, just in case they're doing something funny over there and they're not truly playing a vertical hook by that guy. Like I said, in case they're doing something funny. But uh, I just want to show you this route right here with R1. Hopefully, I have enough time. Of course, I didn't. But uh, <laughs> you get the idea. You see him. You see him wide open. Um, if not, we'll take a look at the replay really fast. I just don't want to keep running this. And uh, like I said, these practice mode sheds are crazy, man. I don't even know who that is, but he just got a a crazy little instant shed. But Regardless, what I was trying to explain to you, you want to throw the ball right about here and you want to pass lead this ball inside right here to where you get a nice little possession catch. So, um, and also don't forget, you can dump it down here and also versus cover two, if they are not zone dropping and they're not playing a, a hard flat corners, then you'll, they'll always sink to this curl route, which means you can actually throw this right here to your running back. You can, you know, maybe truck him, make a miss and pick up about five, six yards. So you have plenty of options with this play. All right, man coverage. So man coverage. Um, now, please don't run this versus man. Okay, there are better plays inside of this formation that are specifically for man coverage. This is specifically for zone. But if you just happen to want to run this versus man, if the, I don't know why, I don't know why. Um, now, if this is not your best route runner, I like to change this route. So what I like to do is put triangle on the slant. I like to take square, put him on a zig route. And then honestly, I like to take this uh, circle route right here and just motion snap him. So we're gonna motion snap a drag. Now your read progression will be triangle to circle, even though he fell down. I don't know what happened. He just got bullied, beat up. I, <laughs> I don't know what happened to this dude, but that's normally gonna be a read progression. Cause normally what's gonna happen here is that also you could peep this right here if you want to. If you have a good matchup, um, now cornerback's always gonna cover your running back like glue, always. But if you have a good matchup, the zig can work. But your reprogression is going to be between this slant and this in route. And also, if you have a speedster, so whoever your speedster wide receiver is, you could put them here. And um, if they don't have a deep half safety, then sometimes he'll have a step on him. Now, sometimes I didn't say all the time, but it's worth noting. But yeah, I don't. I hate you know when this happens, bro. Like this is literally just practice mode BS that you have to deal with. <laughs> but anyways, uh, your reprogression normally is going to be the drag to slant to uh in route and if you peep that this gets open he you peep he has a step then go ahead and launch it if there's no safety but generally that's going to be a reprogression versus man and also match coverage now uh last thing i want to take a look at because uh i did say i did mention match so i'll, I'll show you match um now this is only going to be true versus cover for a quarter so this is uh you can actually bust cover for quarters for a one play touchdown so we'll go back to drive wheel and we'll go inside the dime and um, already have it set up to where, you know, we have it how we want personnel. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to come out in cover four quarters. All right. Now, this is only true for cover four quarters. OK, 
So what you got to do is take R1, put him on a streak. Uh, same setup, excuse me. Same, same exact setup. So if you notice your opponent is playing cover four quarters, you can actually glitch out their safety with this particular setup. Now look what happens. Now please trust me. You 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 have to you have to uh, lob past this. You have to. Okay. I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't. Okay. So don't say that I didn't warn you. All right. Um, if they play cover four quarters and you recognize that it gets open. You're going to have to lob this pass. And I'll show you what happens if you try to throw a bullet for whatever reason. Like if you just try to throw this ball. Uh, for Notice how they just didn't let me catch it. And trust me, I spent about 10 minutes in practice mode trying to throw it at different times for a bullet pass for that to happen. Just for me to finally just give up and say you have to lob pass it. So I don't know why. Please don't ask me in the comments why. I don't know. I just know that that's what works. <laughs> so uh, this is a couple of palms right here. Now obviously you're not going to know the difference between quarters and palms. But um, you'll notice a difference once we snap the ball. So I'll do the same setup. And I just want to show you why I don't like this versus any other match coverage. Um, and it's simply because that safety doesn't move. And um, basically, you have to throw triangle. Um, you can't even play maker because uh, they're going to actually man match. So your only read if you want to run this versus, you know, something other than cover four quarters is going to be throwing this right here on a low ball. So you can actually low ball this as long as he's not like no... Um, I forget which one is it, uh, Lurker, and um, which one is the one where they dive interception? I can't think right now. Y'all don't tell me in the comments, but I can't think. That's the only two. You, so if they have a star on this safety, don't throw it. But uh, if it's a regular old Joe Blow guy type of guy, go ahead and hit a nice little low ball, and then you'll be able to get a nice little uh, possession catch. But as you can tell, uh, match coverage, they're just going to do their job. They're going to man match. So this is not, that's why I said it's not a man beater play at all. So... Anyways, I'll show you cover six and then that's going to be the end of the video just in case you were curious because yes, some people do run cover six, um, you know, and again, please keep in mind, this is just one play. There are other plays in this formation that can attack man and match coverage. All right. So uh, right here, uh, the, the read would have been square, but I was kind of holding the ball for you just so you could see. So just in case somebody happens to run cover six or just in case you happen to see match, you don't know which one it is. Normally, um, if you see the safety turn right here, that's normally going to tell you it's match. Remember, on cover four quarters, he kind of kept drifting outwards this way. That tells you quarters. Now, um, if you notice he turns and runs, it's either cover six or cover four palms. But uh, you'll learn that if you just look at this side because you see how uh, the cornerback moves. We know he does that because he's in a soft squat or a cloud. So that should tell you that he's playing cover six because we see match and we see the corner move. So we just know we have to dump this ball down and then we can attack with another play, something that's designed for cover six. So it's just that's how you use your mind when you play this game. But anyways, man, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. And also, I'm just playing around here. Uh, I just kind of want to see what this play looks like versus just your typical man coverage when we talk about this jailbreak screen. I wonder, huh? Because... Huh, okay, so some formations it works really well against when it's man covered some formations it doesn't um, So just keep that in mind when you run this jailbreak screen some of them are really good blocking some of them are not I don't know man. I, I wish I could tell you why it's like that See that play they didn't just block them, but you hardly will ever throw a pick unless they just go over there and use it themselves, but um, again these plays it just comes down to what formation they're in because some of them work really good some of them don't and um they actually didn't even let me um they actually didn't even let me um throw the ball there but um anyways i want to i want to see something else real quick before i uh let you guys go i just want to see what happens versus zone coverage with uh this jailbreak screen and then um don't mind me y'all uh i appreciate y'all that are still here but this is kind of just me doing some testing because I, I like this formation i really do um so Last thing I do want to see is what happens if they play man coverage and we do a quarterback draw because it looks like nobody's in the middle. So most of the time, um, this guy will probably be who you're, you know, who's going to be the user most of the time. So we'll leave him right there. Uh, let's see. So we're going to. OK, yeah. So. Oh, wow. OK, so, yeah, this is definitely uh, if they have a four down line in front. Uh, quarterback draw is definitely the, the wave. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real and I'm out.